Hi guys, new video, this one is about the new Proton X motors from Multirotor Parts which I uh, will need to say thanks because they sent me these this motors to try. Uh, this is new motors developed um, by them and manufactured by some company, I don't know which one, but I suspect it's Brother Hobby because they are really good motors. Uh, this one is the 2207, like I said, uh, 20,500 and 50 kb and 50 uh, kb like i said so this is the motor this is the box standard pretty standard carbon box and this is the accessories uh, we have here some bolts and they include an extra clip which is a very nice touch from multi rotor parts this is very welcome they include um, a, a, a washer to put in some props because there are some props that are lower than others like this one for example if you compare this one with the cyclone which uses the standard hub you can see that it is lower so which, with, with, what is the problem with this prop if you install this prop and don't put the, the nut the, the washer sorry the, the nut will come down a lot and expose the, the shaft so if you hit something with the shaft exposed that will uh, break the, the thread and after that you will uh, have a hard time trying to uh, put the nut again so they, 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 they are smarter and included a washer and if you put the washer and the nut after this prop that is uh, lower, uh, lower up will become standard prop and you can see the shaft is just at the edge and will not uh, strip the threads easily with uh, crashes, uh, more violent crashes in concrete and uh, metal, something like that. I already uh, broke uh, uh, or stripped some uh, threads in other motors because I did that. I didn't put the washer and the shaft was exposed, so <laughs> not a uh, smart thing to do. Uh, let's talk now about the motor. Let's take this prop off. About the motor, there are some um, very uh, nice uh, things I liked about this motor. Uh, let's start first at the bottom. As you can see, it's open bottom. Um, very thick base, it's around 3.5 millimeters. I measured it. And this support for the wire is a very clever thing. As you can see here, there is some support from this wire coming off from the motor. If you uh, push it, you will not push directly on the wires that go to the windings. So that is a very nice touch, very smart one from multi rotor parts. Uh, about the motor itself, it uses the lastest and the greatest magnets and 52 magnets. It uses NSK uh, bearings, uh, three uh, uh, plus um, uh, three by uh, eight by four millimeters. It's a pretty standard bearing size, not the biggest uh, we are using now, which is four by nine by four, but it should not, not be a problem because I already flown these motors and crashed a lot and they all just find the crashes. Uh, the, the windings are very neat very well made motor. Uh, it uses the lastest uh, technology, laminations, uh, stator, uh, uh, steel uh, windings, everything. Uh, so it uses the, all the, the best components you can find now with a very smart uh, design. Uh, the belt type, it, it has a lot of support, as you can see, a lot of rims going there. So if you, cra if you crash and hit, the, the motor in the side, it should uh, uh, easily take the crash and uh, perform good. Uh, about the, the shaft, as you, can, as you saw, uh, when I put the prop is a lower uh, shaft, it uses um, um, a low profile nut. For me, that's not a problem. And I think uh, multi-rotor parts is smart to do this because I use the a lower uh, eight, uh, eight um, shaft in the air for R4 motors and I didn't have any problem 
and this is the good way to lower a bit the, the weight because the shaft is lower, so it has uh, less material and I didn't uh, get any problem by using this lower profile nuts. It uses the clip, like I said, uh, all shaft titanium, uh, best aluminium grade you can use now, which is uh, 70, 75. Uh, it uses a long wire, uh, 16 centimeters, so you can use any 4-in-1 ESCs, no problem on that. Uh, I will leave the tests, the thrust tests, on the top of, on the, top of the video. And about this motor, I cannot say anything bad because I really flown them, and they are on the top, uh, top my top favorite motors. So this is really good motor, good stuff developed in Europe. So this is really good to to see and to and to acknowledge. This is the motors installed on my machine. As you can see, I'm not lying to you. I'm using them, and I really like these motors great power, uh, good efficiency and uh, very good um, uh, durability. I already crashed them a lot of times, some dirt into the, the windings and I just blown them away and, and uh, keep flying. So there is no problem on this one. So you can see I already flown this and I already hit some trees and everything and everything is fine. So. I can give my thumbs up to these motors. I'm sure I will buy more because they are really good. Thanks from uh, thanks to um, multi-rotor parts because they did a great job on this motor. Really a big fan of them. Thank you very much. See you in the next video and don't forget to hit to hit the subscribe button and like my video. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.